Hey there, garden fans, and welcome back to the Permaculture Homestead. I want to sit with everybody today and just share with you all my experience as a beekeeper for one whole year. I want to start by saying that bees are under a tremendous amount of pressure today. If it's not varroa mites, which transmit disease and viruses, it's wax moths or mice, hive beetles, uh, even man with our pesticides, our herbicides, and aerial spraying. So bees are under a lot of pressure and it was my goal to be a citizen beekeeper and try to keep some bees. Uh, as you can see, there are no bees out here right now. Uh, sometime back in November, uh, after the devastating floods in South Carolina, uh, my bees absconded, and I think it was due to a lot of things. Uh, pest pressure being one of them, varroa mites. I didn't treat for varroa mites. Also, I had my hive on a small pallet. My woodenware wasn't quoted, and it got a little moldy, mildewy, so their environment became unhabitable, uh, the pest pressure that they were under became too much, and my bees swarmed on me. So this year I'm taking a few steps to remedy a lot of the problems that I encountered last season. One of them, as you can see, is creating a nice habitat for my bees. So this year I've created a nice beehive stand, it gets them off the ground, away from the water. I've also coated all of my woodenware with pine tar and linseed oil. It's an organic coating that should keep water, mold, and mildew away. So another thing I've done is plant some of my most invasive mint uh, around the feet of this beehive stand. That might prevent some pests, maybe not all. Um, also this year I'm going to try to do a better job uh, treating my bees for varroa mites at the right time when it is scheduled for my zone. So with that being said, you may think that I had a pretty bad experience, but I didn't. Uh, nothing was lost except my bees, and everything was gained. I gained a lot of knowledge, experience, and now I've got a whole lot of frames that are drawn out and ready to go for this year's new crop. And here it is. <laughs> I'm starting two packages of bees this year. Hopefully I'm trying to double my chances of at least keeping one throughout an entire season. And here I am installing, guys. It's, installing bees is pretty easy. You're going to get a package. It's going to have a little sugar a can in it. And you're going to remove your queen cage, drop it into your beehive, and really just dump your bees into the beehive. Uh, I didn't feel like shaking my bees out too vigorously. So this year I'm trying something new. I'm just going to go ahead and put the entire... Uh, bee package inside of a deep super and see if they can all exit out. Uh, I'll check this out in three days, see how it goes, and uh, I'll keep you all updated the rest of the season, guys. But as of now, the Permaculture Homestead is doubling down and doing two beehives this year. I uh, want to thank you all for watching. I hope this was instructive. If you have any questions about bees or beekeeping or just what I'm doing in general, please don't hesitate to ask. Leave me a comment below. Uh, if this video was something you liked, please share it, like it, and uh, subscribe. Thank you all for watching, guys. Please keep in touch on these updates, and God bless.